Hello everybody and welcome once again to All The Mods 4. This episode we're going to do some jetpack stuff. Since we managed to defeat the Ender Dragon last time without a jetpack, and I said that was deliberate because I think it should be a tougher fight than just flying up with a jetpack and shooting the those crystals. Anyway, let's get started. So in this chest I've got the materials which we may need, I think. I hope this is correct. It's a, sometimes a bit tricky, but we need... Um, we need eleven. We need eleven coils. For eleven coils, we need eleven sticks, twenty-two um, redstone, and forty-four. No, we need we need thirty-four. That's right. No, forty-four gold or forty-four iron. I think that's correct. So let's just start. I've done the I've done the, the wooden jetpack, and I think we need just these materials plus the leather in here. Each one of these we need. Um, Two. Have I done that wrong? Let's just sort that out again. I think I've done that wrong. We need two furnaces. So for each one of these, we need two furnaces. I'm going to move that one up to there because you need ten for the the batteries which we're going to make. Put them down. I had a contact like this. And I've already made the, I've already made the, the wood one, so we don't need that. So let's get started with the iron one, with the, the stone one. So. First thing we can actually do is we can have a look, come on lock here and look at the uses of this the jetpack, and it actually has multiple uses. So we can either make a copper jetpack, which is a tier one jetpack. The wooden is tier zero. There are six tiers: the stone jetpack or the copper jetpack. And those are your two choices. Well, obviously stones are a lot cheaper than copper, so we'll use stone. Seems sensible, huh? So we need to make. Uh, I need to make 11 of these in total. I've already made four. Like that. I need to make batteries. I need to make five stone batteries. And I think the stone batteries should be this one here like this. And it... That's correct. I'm just a bit surprised. Why have I, oh, because of redstone. Yes, exactly. And then we need to make two stone thrusters, which are these here, like that. Make two of those, and then we need to make a stone capacitor, which is this one, like that. And then we should be able to make the jetpack up. So the stone jetpack's this one, and sure enough, we've got exactly the right materials. So the next level up, we have a choice now. Let's have a look at the uses of this one. So we have three different um, jetpacks we can make: bronze, iron, or silver. Now, bronze is an alloy, so it's easier to make silver. Than iron, iron we need all the time. Silver, there are a few recipes, but there's not that many recipes. For example, if you have a look at the uses of iron, iron you get the 64 crafting recipes with it. If we have a look at the uses of a silver ingot, there's nine pages of those, which isn't that many. And then it looks like tools, armor, and then plus the stuff. There's not that many special ones, there's one or two. And for bronze, let's have a look at the uses of bronze ingots. Again, there's two pages. Now that's a typical a number of recipes we can use for this. The only one that's different is a basic crusher from silence mechanisms. And the rest are just blocks and nuggets. So they're all the same thing. Now that's basically copper and tin. So there are other uses for copper and tin. So I reckon that the easiest one to use was silver because we get an abundant supply of silver. In fact, let's have a look in this chest here. I have literally, that's lead I've got lots and lots of silver in here and I'm not using any of it so I so might well use the silver one so that, that's why I chose to do wrong box let's choose it here let's get these out of here like that and then we should easily be able to make up the silver one so we need again this is a tier three a tier one basic coil we need 11 of those we need a silver energy cell we need five of these and then we can simply make the silver thrusters up We should have two of those, and then we have silver capacitor. And then we can do the uses of this, and we can make this one up, just like that. So now we we'll look at the uses of this one, the tier 3, we'll get to the tier 4 levels. So, no, tier 3 actually. Strangely it starts with a tier 0, I'm surprised about that. So we've got gold, we've got electrum, we've got invar, and we've got steel. Again, 
the one I chose was Inva because that's nickel and um, iron. And you've got plenty of iron. Electrum, silver and gold. Plenty of silver. And gold is sort of still in short supply. And steel is just a faff. <laughs> so let's get on and make this one up. So that's this, that's this column. You can do it very fast actually in this case. We'll just do this lot up straight away. So we're making in more, aren't we? Sometimes it's just electrum, it must be gold, this one. So we need the, these batteries here, so we should be able to make five of those. And then we can do, actually use the uses of this, and we can be able to make this one and the uses of this. We should be able to do this one. So I think that's all we need. So we just do the use of this one and we should be able to make this up. And so we've got our now, we've got our tier three. You can look at the power, the amount of power it uses is, is in the wrong place. It's quite a lot in this case. So we can take this column out now. In fact, we can take, I'm just having a quick think. No, I won't change the, I won't change the pattern. The pattern's probably best if I do keep it as the same. So we're making platinum. Oh, I didn't actually have a look at that, did I? Let's have a look at the Invog, the Invog jetpack. The uses of that is platinum or diamond. Well, platinum has got almost no recipes. Look at the uses of this one, and you'll see there's really no recipes at all for it. We can crush it, we can alloy it, so we can alloy it to indirium. And again, the uses of indirium actually are not in this jetpack, in this pack at the moment. I actually haven't upgraded the pack. There's a new version of the pack with um, journey map in it. But I'm surprised they've changed it. To be honest with you, that's I'm at this at this level of game, it doesn't really make sense to do that. Because um, journey map's a great a great mod, but then you lose all your waypoints, which you can have to type in again, or you lose all the map mapping that you've done in the past. I'm that's why I'm a bit surprised they've done it. To be honest with you. I actually could have done the uses of this one. It'd be the easiest way to do it, wouldn't it? And then the uses of this one. So for the last one, again, so you need 11 sticks, 32 redstone, 44 gold, 28 emeralds, and two furnaces. So we can do the, this one here, we can do the capacitor, which needs these. 11 of those. Batteries. So actually, the easiest one to see because the last one, it's the last one on the list of everything here. So, and there's only one tier. I didn't look at it, but if you have a look at the uses of this, there is only emerald, and then thrusters. So we now have our tier five engine with hover mode on it. So the next thing we have to do is just charge that up. Let's go and do that. I've got the battery the battery box from a silence mechanisms here. If you can put it into here no problem and it'll charge up. This is obviously going to take a while to get 48 million FE into here but it will tick over in time. When that's charged a bit we're going to have a look at flying with it. So the, the idea now to fly is to go over the um, the end and see what we can get from that now in here where have i put it where have i put them here we are yes one of the things i'd like to do is some of the forbidden, forbidden and arcanus mod here so let's have a look at that yes so these are the type of things we can got there's actually quite a lot in the reasonable amount no that's the wrong that's not cooking for blockers so we need forbidden and i think all of this yes this is all this is all forbidden and arcanist the rest of it's nothing else good but they do have some very powerful tools and armor i think this is the top tier let's have a look at the chest plate here so let's just type in here chest 
So there's got four different chess plates in this mod. So you've got the gold, arcane gold one, which has got seven, which is plus one thing. I think that's equivalent to diamond. This is the mortem chess plate, which is lower. What's that requiring? It's requiring cloth and bones, but it's actually not too bad. Then we've got the tire chest plates and the and Draco armor. Now, Draco armor is using these forbidden Draco, dragon scales. Dragon scales are made with <laughs> cutting up a dragon's head. So you need basically, uh, let's have a look how many of these do we need to do that. Well, it looks like you need four dragon scales in here. This won't be such a problem. Obsidian shoulder parts, I guess, aren't going to be a problem. So we need four. So let's go back to the. And this one here is also really expensive. This is aquatic dragon scale. So that's again using one dragon scale. It's also using prismarine and prismarine shard. That's not a big deal. And arcane crystal dust. That's also not a big deal. The recipe for that. Is basically just cooking arcane crystals and the only use for arcane crystals is to basically either make a block or smelt it or crush it oh, you can crush it to dust as well okay good. that actually makes more sense in a way being able to crush it or to cook it it doesn't make much difference so this one here the uses of this where was i so this one here is 12 plus 4 so it's a really tough armor so this needs well, we need it, I think. How many scales do we need in that? Okay, we need one in there. And for that, we need, oh, okay. Charcoal, metabite of dust, gold ingots, arcane. That's not too bad. This one is a re getting four from this one. So you need phantom membranes, gunpowder. That's no big deal. And these arcane crystals, redstone, and blood powder. That's not a big deal. So those aren't too bad. Um... But of course, these dragon skills are. So I think you need 24 dragon skills to make one of these sets of armor up here. So if we have a look at this, is is T R T Y R tier? I suppose it's called a tire. So you have all of this armor. So you've got boots, which are very also very high levels. All of these are very high levels. Compared to, I think that's actually the best, the best armor in the pack. Let's have a look. Let's just do um. Some wood. Probably chest plate would be the best one to use, wouldn't it? So here are all the different chest plates in the pack. The one I've been using to fight the Ender Dragon was this one. So that was actually not bad. Neptunian chest plate is eight, plus two. That's actually better than diamond. Diamond seven plus one, I think. Oh, it's eight plus two. Two good mistake. Man of Steel 6, Terra Steel 8 plus 3, and it has 40%. I'm not sure what that represents. <laughs> Let's press shift and see if it gives us anything else. I think that's to do with mana. Then you've got the Elementium, which is lower. Bone chest plate, lower. Chitin which we've actually covered. Moonstone's actually a very good one, 9 plus 3. We've got enough stuff to make that. Um, Dracone is 10 plus 3. That's the helmet. So I need the chest plate. That's 12 plus 4. So I think this is the the highest one in the pack. Inferium chest plate, maybe... No, it's even higher than Supremium, but Supremium is really powerful anyway. So what else do we have in here? Plus 100% look for that one. Copper chest plate is that gives you extra hearts. Lead chest plate gives you extra toughness, I think. And this one gives you, Quicksilver gives you speed. I'm not sure what the plus means, but yeah, you know, plus something other stuff and the, and so on and so forth. So we can see all of the different armors. So this is this is the one I'd like to make the tire armor. So I've got to go and find 24. Um, Dragon scales. Now I've got these four came from chests, and I actually visited, found two boats, and only one of them had a head. The other one was chopped off, so that will give me three. So that's seven. I got to find a lot more of these. Jetpack, perfect. Sorry, that's a lot of talking. Um, I'm not sure the other uses for these dragon scales. We'll have a look. Yes, you do. Of course, you've got that. 
Draconian Arcana Sword, Axe, Scales, Helmet. So they've got a few uses, as you can see, and these obviously are fairly powerful. Hose. We don't probably need to use it. I don't see why we'd want, ever want to use a very high a silver dragon scale. It's just for making obsidian skull shields. Okay, it gives you fire and fire resistance. So that's, is that just a normal shield? It probably is, isn't it? So we've got lots to do. So, when the jetpack is charged up, I'm going to go back to the end and go and find... Let's have a look at some of this. It's only just got up to 2 million, so it's got a while to go yet. So I'm going to go and find um, some of these heads, but I'll do that in my own time. I have explored a fair amount of the of the end, as it happens, but by hopping along, and I would like to use the jetpack. Save a lot of time. But there is something else we can do with this. So let's have a look at the Forbidden and go and have a look at what the other items are that we can do. This one here is an orb that can temporary flight. I haven't gone, probably never going to use it. But there is a soul extractor. And I guess this is the soul extractor. A mystical dagger, okay. Ethereum pickaxe soul extractor, this one. So what do we need for that? Nether bricks, block of quartz, block and a big bottle. Okay, what's that? Just wood and glass. Okay, we can just, I think it's all just standard glass it is. So well, let's make one of these and get a, a soul extractor. And let's have a look at make capturing a soul. Because these things here, which is what you capture, useful of that, make the pixies and they make dark souls. Like that. So let's get that made. I think we need, actually let's do it on here, it's probably easier to do it on here and I'll put the bits back. Wrong one, I want this one. Let's make a bottle up. I don't have any wood. That's not true, I've got plenty of wood. I wonder if it needs a special type of wood in there. Ah, it might be L. No, just... Dark oak planks, charred planks, hellbark, dark wood. I've got dark wood, cherry wood, Arcadia, oak planks. I've got oak planks, so we should be able to make that up. That's all. Yeah, that's strange. Didn't put it in there because, as you can see, it's already got the ingredients in there for the next one. So now, soil extractor. So we need nether bricks. I should have two of these actually. I should actually have them in the system, so we should, might be able to do that because they are in this chest down here, and everything in here is also another bricks so should all be picked up. So we should be able to maybe we can make this soil extractor, except for we need a block. No, we can look, it's ticked. So now we can do this. Let's go and use this. And what you have to do is use this right click some soul sand. Now, I have been getting some soul sand from the sludge processors. So let's go and have a look at that. Oh, at the same time, we can also have a look at my new farm. I upgraded the farms a bit, um, as you can see. So we'll want to watch the sludge processor here. And sludge processor has red sand. Oh no, soul sand, well not soul sand, obviously. To get a soul, you've got to have soul sand. And you'll see here, this is, this is the farm. And what this is doing is it's using the harvester here. There's a single harvester. We've still got this. Every time this flashes, the, the lights go a bit strange. I'm not sure why. So there's one harvester here, and these farms are nine, but nine by nine, and each one's got a um, item collector pointing. In a, I want it to be symmetrical, so they're all pointing in these directions like this. So what this one will pick up all of this crops and more as it happens, and everything's going to end up in here like this <laughs> and you'll see that I've already exceeded my limits of uh, um, beetroot seeds and they get a lot of beetroot seeds for the number of beetroot you get hasn't been running very long as it happens I've also set up some nether seeds and some fire seeds as well and they're just here so what happens with this farmer is it right or this harvester 
yeah, it right clicks crops so it doesn't break them. So it's actually no use for things like um, uh, oh gosh, brain comes a little bit of thought. It's no good for pumpkins, melons, and um, sugar cane or bamboo because you can't right click this doesn't work so anything you can right click this works perfectly for so that's this harvester so then the items get dropped and the item collectors pick them up underneath here there is um as you could probably can just move this one out of the way actually if i use this pick here we've got this now that's been picked up by an item collector but i'm not sure which one so that should come in here it has look <laughs> I haven't locked these deliberately. Put those away there. Let's put the, the grass block back into here. Like that. So that's the farm. Anyway, what was I out here for in the first place? To put some soil sand down. And then you right click this with the soil extractor. So I believe I have to hold it down. Oh yes. <laughs> and then this changed to solar sand. Strange. <laughs> so we get these uh, soles just like this. Let's just do the six. I'm not sure how many we actually need for this. And then with solar sand, let's just harvest this up. I can excavate that. And then we get the uses of this one. I'm not sure it's got any uses. Put four together and we get solar sandstone. And then we'll get used to that. And then we can start to use solar sandstone as a building material. Or make solar, cut solar sandstone. Basically it just becomes a building material. Or we can cook it to smooth solar sandstone. Very good. <laughs> <clears throat> so we now have six soles. And then with those soles we can turn them into dark soles. Now, I'm not sure how to do that. Let's have a look. So the uses of this, it, yes, we need some corruptite dust, and then it produces a dark soul. The recipe for corruptite dust is dark matter. Blaze powder, nether wart, enderpore fragments, and arcane, crystal, arcane crystal dust. This one's actually the hardest one at the moment. You can do that. And all you've got to do is cook an elderwood log and it'll produce dark matter. Now, elderwood dot <laughs> I can't, God, I'm having difficulty today. Elderwood uh, logs come from, you can either cre you can either make them. So let's go back and have a quick look at that one. Let's just open the back here. You can either make this soul sand arcane crystal dust or plank or wood any logs you want stripped or normal and that'll make one of these but I think you can also get those from a dark forest so let's have a look we have got our nature's compass somewhere in one of these let's have a look. I think it might actually be in oh that was in there I really wouldn't I prefer to keep that on but we'll just get it off and let's have a look at I forgot the compass No, I haven't got it. I want this one. Nature's compass. So I must have put it away somewhere. Probably in the bag. Let's move these out of the way. It, if it's going to be anywhere, it's probably going to be in this bag. Indeed it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a look at this one. We'll have a look for dark. I think we've got a dark forest or a dark forest hills here. Let's search for that one. So it's 460 one blocks away. Let's have a look at the other one of those. So that was the Dark Forest Hills. That's 1400 blocks away. So we might as well go to the Dark Forest. Tell you what, I'm going to go to the Dark Forest and I'll see you there. Well, I found oh, I found a, a, some dark wood here, so we'll just 
it's a dark oak. We'll just harvest a few of these trees while we're here. Um, might as well, because I haven't got any dark oak yet. I'll do any. I guess that's going to give me enough saplings. How many do we get? Five. It's not very many saplings. You don't get very many from dark oak, as you probably know already. So I've got 41 blocks to go now before I reach. Sometimes you get a reasonable amount, like that one here we've got another three. So it does make dark oak quite difficult to grow. Anyway, we're 64 blocks away. And this looks something different. How many blocks are we now? 13, 12. What have we got here? Otherwood logs. Oh, brilliant. Let's just harvest these. I wonder if they give you any saplings. Let's have a look around here. It's got a spooky face on it. <laughs> oh, now that was strange. I didn't expect it to drop down the tree as well. So what have we got now for, I just heard something clicking into place. 14 elder wood logs. I think we need a lot more than that. I'll tell you what, I'll be, I'll see you back at base now. We found it. it's not very far away base. It's about 400 blocks. I'll see you in a short while. Well, I've just come across a mossy waystone from waystones. I probably should collect that actually. I think it's one item. And this is a way you can actually teleport as well. It's another teleportation mechanism. I think there's in the back. I'm still busy searching around here. There was a forest fire. I was busy putting it out in case it burnt any elder wood around the place. I ended up with a lot of wood. <laughs> Tons of wood. Anyway, I'll carry on. See you in a while. Well, this is the second forest fire I've seen. You get a really heavy lag when you... When this one's when it, all these trees are burning, the only thing you can do really is to put them out. Oops, miss. As you can see, the lag is just awful, <laughs> like that. But you can let it burn out itself out. It'll burn itself out, I guess. Um, I have just anyway. I'm still looking for elderwood. I think I've got quite a reasonable amount now, actually. I'll have a quick look in a second because I saw some more just over here. Normally I always excavate this stuff up because faster. I have plenty of luck. It just takes a bit of time. Let's have a look how many we've got now. We've got, oh, 64 and 22. I think that's probably enough. Right, I'm off back to, oh, off back to base. I'll see you when I'm there. Well, you can see the base from quite a long way back, that's for certain. I should have brought myself a cart with me, but I didn't realise I was going to go that way. Anyway, we've got all the stuff we need. I'm going to clear it out. Ah, let's have a quick look. Well, we're out of time for today. Sorry about that. Uh, next time we're going to go and carry on with this um, Forbidden and Arcanus and see what we can actually build and uh, find out what's really useful to use from that mod. Until then, I wish you all the best. And between episodes, I'm going to see if I can find some more dragon heads. Bye for now.